Arena Sabalenka versus Ange Jabeur is the second semi-final for the ladies Wimbledon for 2023. And both ladies have been super impressive to get to this stage. Jabeur entered the tournament as the number six seed and would take on Fre in the first round. This was too easy for Jabeur getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Bay, and again, an easy win for Jabeur winning in straights, 6-1, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on Andrescu, former US Open champion. And after dropping the first set, Jabeur would have to fight back to win, 3-6, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to the fourth round. Fourth round, she'd take on the number nine seed, Kvitova, because she had a bad record against, losing four of their previous five matches. But this time, Jabeur was on fire, demolishing Kvitova in straights, 6-love, six 6-3, six to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Jabeur would take on the number three seed, Rabakina, who she had lost to in the final of Wimbledon last year. And after dropping the first set, she would fight back to win, 6-7, six, 6-4, six, six, to advance to another Wimbledon semifinal. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed, and would take on Udvardi in the first round. But this is no problem getting through in straights, 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, in the second round, she'd take on Gracheva. And after dropping the first set, we'd have to fight back to win. 2-6-7-5-6-2. In the third round, she'd take on Blinkova, who had just taken out the number 29 seed, Bagu. There's no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-2-6-3. In, in the fourth round, she'd take on the 21st seed, Alexandrova, who won a title on grass prior to Wimbledon. This is no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-4-6-love to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the number 25 seed, Keys, who'd been on a very good run on the grass this season. This was no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-4, to get to her fourth consecutive semi-final at a slam. These two have played four times before, with Sabalenka leading the head-to-head 3-1, -head including a match that they played at Wimbledon two years ago, where Sabalenka got the win. They also played an epic last year at the WTA Finals, with Sabalenka fighting back to win that one in a third. Jabeur's going to win this one. She needs to use her variety and push Sabalenka around. It works so good against Rabakina, and also so good against Kvitova, so she is playing another similar type in Sabalenka, so she's got to take the confidence out of that and move her around. Sabalenka's going to win this one. She needs to be aggressive and just put a beat down on the serve especially. Keep her serve going. She's been serving very well this week. Played great against Keys for the most part of that match. But she needs to keep that serve going and really just attack everything that Jabur's doing. This kind of feels like a final before the final, you know, the semi-final between the two big names, the two top tenors, whereas the other semi-final has two unseated players. I'm going to go with Sabalenka to win this one. I think she's going to get it in three sets. I think Jabur's been great this week, but the last two opponents she's played haven't played that well, and I think that Sabalenka is going to bring her own game as she has for the whole week and take it out in three, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final of Wimbledon.